So Vincent, um, you've come all this way over to Trinidad to this exciting conference on the just transition to a low carbon economy. Can you tell us some of your own work and thinking about the just transition and the energy transition? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Rafael. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here because I believe we are living a very interesting moment in the uh, energy sector as a whole and most in particular in the energy economics and energy law, uh, going to a future of uh, clean energy law that, that is a, a kind of a new beginning. And uh, I think it's very timing and, and a very interesting and fruitful discussion that is taking place here in Tobago uh, under the auspices of some uh, Augustan faculty of law about this uh, issue. Uh, just in transition, uh, uh, it, it calls for something very much uh, connected with the sustainability goals launched by United Nations and the Conference of Paris, uh, but it should be developed and, uh, and uh, framed in an appropriate way. And if you were to think about the just transition to a low carbon economy, what do you see as the major challenges? Well, the, the major challenges, in my opinion, always it's uh, for the public sector and most in concrete for the governments to be aware of the speed that the transition needs, uh, uh, needs to take place. So we cannot talk about transition and, and uh, later on the transition will, will arrive on delay. So the objectives of the transition should be uh, integrated in a given and concrete calendar and time frame. It's very difficult to reach the objectives if you don't have a concrete uh, deadlines. And we cannot wait for the, for the appropriate developments of the transition. So one is the action to be taken by the government. The other is for the legislators to be aware of the new conditions of these uh, parameters of the energy law as clean law. And uh, the third also is a very important task of communication and education to the citizens, to the consumers, uh, to know exactly what is this new landscape in economical and uh, legal terms, uh, to be aware of the benefits that it would provide to them. And in thinking about this uh, conference, what have you, um, let's say, picked up from some of the different speakers or some of the different com conversations you've had over uh, the conference? Well, I, I was very much uh, and very positively surprised by the large amount of initiatives, examples uh, from the companies and uh, from the academicians with regard to this uh, transition and uh, just transition. So the different dimensions of the just transition is not purely law on economics, it's also it has a very important social dimension and we have to take into account this social dimension of the energy transition. Uh, it has a dimension also in terms of education and we have to keep this very clearly and also an awareness from the commercial operators and I think here it has been shown to what extent uh, even very large and powerful utilities are aware of this new path is the, is the real one, is the appropriate one for the years to come. And in terms of achieving the, the just transition to a low carbon economy, how important do you think uh, collaboration, working together is? Is a key point, is a key point. Just in transition is a new partnership. And uh, the commitment between the, all the stakeholders around uh, the energy sector and climate change uh, goals and, and purposes it should be very much connected. So I think it's, this is something that cannot be in isolation. It should be uh, do in clear and strong and, uh, and very vital partnership with all the stakeholders involved. There are many. So uh, thank you very much uh, for that and thank you for attending the conference. Uh, and, uh, Thanks so much. Safe travels. Uh, thank you so much, Rafael, and thank you so much for your leadership on this initiative.